What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Chris here, Mace Collectibles, happy Thursday morning to you. We've almost made it to the weekend, got some hot fights coming up on Saturday night. Mr. Sean Strickland and Jack Hermanson, can't wait for that fight. But today, today we are going to cover 2022 Prism UFC. I tell you, 2022 sounds like uh, the future. Sounds like some movie I'm not supposed to be a part of. But nonetheless, here we are, we're alive and well. And uh, we've got some new cards coming out. Always enjoy a new card drop. Love them or hate them. Uh, it's always kind of an exciting time. So I'd like to welcome you back to another kind of custom edition of the Mace MMA Card Show. Uh, we'll be back in the usual format at the table here, probably starting tomorrow. But today we're going to cover Prism UFC. I invite you all to sit back, relax, and take a look at the atrocities i'm about to bestow upon you but real quick before we get started uh got a lot of support yesterday from the video talking about going full-time and doing this full-time uh, and bringing you guys the best content i can bring and stepping it up i tell you we got a lot of things in the works last night at working with uh a special guest i'm going to be uh, bringing on the show for a uh, a segment that will consistently cover that I think you all will enjoy, but we've we covered a lot of things on how to improve the channel and improve our camera shots, etc., etc. So definitely some exciting stuff coming along on the horizon. I want to thank everybody so much for all the support in the comments, um, telling your friends, posting on Instagram stories. Really appreciate all that. If you like Mace Collectibles, you're more than welcome to give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter as well. There will be Instagram only giveaways, Twitter. A lot of times I'm going to be uh, putting out some feeds during the fights, maybe doing some giveaways that way as well. So please, on your social media, head on over and check out Mace Collectibles and give us a follow. I'd also like to mention that macecollectibles.com is back up and operational. Make sure you head over there. Anytime you're wondering about information, dates of breaks, dates of giveaways, etc., that's all going to be on macecollectibles.com now. So it's a lot easier way for us to communicate. I can't communicate. I've got some people that only follow me on Instagram or only follow the YouTube channel, and I'm cool with that, but it's difficult to communicate information to everybody, of course. So uh, macecollectibles.com is going to be a one-stop shop. The site is up. Um, it's kind of under construction right now, but you can go there and navigate and get it saved in your bookmarks. Macecollectibles.com is going to be your one-stop shop for all the upcoming information. We're gonna be dropping breaks again as soon as PRISM comes out in the middle of February. Uh, so if you like the weight class group breaks and the pick your fighter group breaks, head on over there and uh, be on the lookout for when I'm gonna be dropping those postings here within the next week or so and get yourself a spot. Uh, one last housekeeping thing here. If you wish to support the channel, and I would surely appreciate that very much, um, aside from just watching the videos or being subscribed on YouTube, you can become a YouTube channel member and support the channel that way. Uh, or the only other way I currently have uh, set up for support is Substack. I'm very excited that we have created a Substack. You can find that at macecollectibles.substack, macecollectibles.substack.com. And that's going to be a weekly newsletter, once a week, a weekly newsletter. Uh, written by myself and uh, at times special guests, special contributors. Um, but macecollectibles.substack.com, you will find a weekly newsletter dealing only with MMA cards and MMA card related topics. So please head on over there and check that out. By the way, if you're already on Substack or you're familiar with Substack, feel free to check out Baby Blue Breaks, a great friend of the channel. Uh, did a great write-up yesterday on uh, first prism grading, and I really enjoyed it. I thought he did a, a great job on that. So please, it's free. Please head over and support Baby Blue Breaks uh, and the work he's doing over there for the community. It's good stuff. All right, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump into this thing, folks. Here we go. We've got 2022 Panini Prism UFC dropping yet again. The prices have already dropped down. If you're looking at blowout, similar places, we're down to $8.99, which I think we're getting into reasonable territory now. Um, I do not think that this set should be over a thousand, and I'm not so sure that it will be at any point. Um, if it didn't climb through pre-sale, it's likely not going to climb more. 
uh, later. I don't think we'll have scarcity issues on this uh, drop. So we're going to be looking at the mid of February, about $900 to drop right now. Uh, 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, and 12 boxes per case. They're holding true to the uh, typical way they do things. There's going to be two autographs and 22 prisms on average per box. But let's get into the meat and potatoes and see what's inside this thing. We get a first look right here. Of course, this is the well-known Mojo prism. Uh a base gold vertical and a base horizontal black and I gotta say these look like absolute hot garbage I'm looking at this mojo here I mean look at this design what in the hell is this look at this look at the black here is this your is this our black 101 I mean what is this this, my daughter, it looks like my daughter designed this and she's nine. This is crazy. I think these look horrible. I'm sure in person the cards look much better when you're looking at the 3D, or excuse me, the uh, 2D pictures here on, uh, on the website. You know, it, it, it definitely takes away from the cards. I'll give them that. But this design, man, it's embarrassing. It almost feels insulting. Like they, they can just throw out anything and we're just going to buy it, which, you know, kind of is the case. Um, there's power in numbers, I tell you, you know, when people aren't buying stuff, it forces them to adjust the price. Or, if you know, if you send them feedback, if enough of us are saying something like, yo, what are you guys doing? Uh, sometimes that can instigate a change. But I think that this design, if you even want to call it a design, I mean, how long do you think it took them to make this Henry Cejudo design? This is crazy. I think it looks terrible. So that's a first look at kind of the, the base design of the cards. We come down here for some of the funner uh, inserts and exclusive, hobby exclusive cards. And we've got the UFC champion signatures coming back, which I don't think look too terrible. But again, I don't think look great. They look very similar to last year. Uh, so definitely a copy paste job there. Uh, the black signatures, I think, look pretty decent, but again, we've got these big, bold, bulky lines here that can't decide whether they want to be uh, sharp angles or more of a bubble look. It, it's like they're trying to combine this like uh, bubble font with sharp edges, and it just doesn't jive with me at all. The black looks decent. Looking at the Michael Bisbing over here, these legendary signatures, prisms, red, I think they look terrible as well the the border of the card here is is way too big uh it's very plain again just cheaply designed simple shapes very easy to do and we're stuck with some stickers again which isn't the end of the world and in a, a COVID environment i can understand why they're still doing stickers and bringing in so many more fighters i, I can get past that honestly but man these designs like not even the special cards like the I really think this Biz Bing Legendary card looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what the pictures are like. We haven't had the best pictures in a while. These don't look too terrible. I feel like they did a little better job capturing uh, kind of the moment and the fighter's personalities. Like I think this Chris Dawkins photo is really good. I think that really encompasses uh, Chris Dawkins's personality. I like that pick. The Bisbing pick, again, horrible. They might as well just put like his right arm in the picture or something like that. Just a terrible design all around. We're talking about, and people might think I'm being picky, but we're talking about spending $1,000 on cardboard. $1,000, that's a lot of money to a lot of people. And this is the design that you come up with. You got Panini America, a massive, massive company, okay, selling massive amounts of cards across all sports genres. And this is what the design team came up with. That just absolutely blows my mind. It's terrible, uh, and I would personally be embarrassed to be a part of that. Scrolling down here, and here's where it just gets better. Look at this. Bonus Machines Prism Black. Look at these bonus machine cards. Circa 1994. On our HP 2040 LaserJet printer, we've printed out this little card here that somebody made in Microsoft Paint. 
That card looks like shit. Maybe you all don't agree. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just giving my honest assessment. This is not, this does not belong in, in a thousand dollar pack of cards. Like what the hell are we talking about right now? Same thing over here, these prism flashbacks. This looks like, what the hell is this? They painted it gold. They did a, a fun little cut out of the picture and then put a bunch of dots. This is our gold. This is our flashback prism gold. It's terrible, man. It's absolutely terrible. I don't understand the direction they're going in. At least we got the color blast back. It looks like they're going to keep color blast kind of how they were. I love color blasts. I think they're gorgeous cards. So I'm glad that they at least kept the color blast like this. But of course, how many of you are going to get a color blast? They're very rare. Uh, but they do look good. And that's it. That's all the, that they've given us so far. Uh, again, you're going to get two autographs and 22 prisms per box. Find the return, uh, find the returning champion signatures that feature UFC champions showing off their UFC gold. Yeah, take a look at our champion signatures. Probably one of the better cards uh, of the set. Collect a roster of stellar rookies appearing in their first officially licensed UFC trading cards. Hopefully that holds true. We did see Dawkins up there. There should be some nice rookies in there, some key rookies to look out for. Um, so I am looking forward to that at least. Uh, new insert sets such as bonus machines and prism flashbacks. We just covered that. Bonus machines looks like trash. Um, really prism flashbacks do as well in my opinion. Just terrible. Uh, these two especially, these prism flashbacks and bonus, ma bonus machines, like man they look bad dude. They just look so cheaply done. Like, no effort at all was put in it. I just can't imagine that a UFC fan created these cards. I'm not even artistic. I wouldn't even consider myself artistic, and I feel like I do a better job than this. Uh, speaking of which, I am working. I mentioned this in a video before, but I am genuinely working on a uh, unlicensed set. A small set. It's going to be, I believe, 18 cards per pack, uh, and it's going to be one pack per box. And I'm probably going to do uh, the very first set free. Just give them away to you all and let you see what you think. Because again, I can't go on here and blast these guys for charging money for this shit. Uh, if mine are deemed equally as bad by the community. So, But I love cards and I've always wanted to, de to design my own cards. So I'm taking a stab at it, just playing around. I have no experience whatsoever with graphic design or any of that. So I'm sure a lot of you, I see some of you guys making custom fight posters um, on Twitter and stuff like that. And man, they are badass. Some really great fight posters, you all, and fan art uh, and even sketch cards out there. Huge fan of those. They do a great job. So I'm going to give mine away for free this first round. Uh, that's going to be this spring coming out. But I'm really excited for uh, Mace MMA's first card drop ever. It's going to be pretty legit. But we'll give those away free. If you guys like them, then maybe I'll charge costs for them moving forward. Hopefully, hopefully people enjoy that. But more to come on that. Um, and the new in 22, new in 22 is going to be the uh, Ruby Wave Hyper and Ice. I do. I'm a fan of the ice. Like there's some nice cracked ice prisms from other sets. Um, there was blue and orange as well. I really liked those. Ruby Wave looks pretty good and the hypers are decent. So we'll see how those pan out. There are some plus sides to this box. I am going to be buying uh, 22 Prism. Prism is still, should still be uh, your most collectible set of the year. It's always the first drop, especially when we're talking about rookies. You wanna grab your rookies from Prism. I think it might take uh, the MMA community a little bit to catch on to that, um, but it holds extremely true for all other sports that you're your rookies from Prism are always going to be your most valuable. So that's another positive that I'm trying to throw on uh, Prism. Again, I am going to be jumping in. I'm not going to be jumping in real heavy. Again, look at this. I just, I'm really at a loss for words. You would especially think that they would take great time to make some really solid sets considering they just took over the licensing. You know, we came off Chrome, which three years of absolutely fantastic cards, if you ask me. I was a huge Chrome fan. I'm sure you guys realize that by now. Um, 
And then they hit us with flagship. Tops did, did us a little dirty in 2020, dropping flagship. But then we go straight into Panini, and uh, man, this is where we're at. In the year 2022, when they have bulletproof Tesla trucks, this is what the Panini design team has brought us. But I'll leave it at that. I don't want to be a massive hater. Uh, let me know how you all feel down in the comments. What are you guys thinking about Prism so far? Uh, what do you think about the design, etc.? Let me know. I'd be interested to hear. Hopefully you're not a huge fan and I just rained all over your parade or sound like a, a whiny little kid. But that's my honest assessment of where we're at at first look at Prism, guys. It's not looking strong. But we'll see. Hopefully the price reflects that. And this might give an opportunity for a lot more people to get into the hobby and get their hands on a box than otherwise would have. I know tons of people got priced out pretty much the entirety of 2021. So hopefully an improvement here. But that's going to do it, folks. Just wanted to bring you my two cents on Panini Prism UFC. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you check out Mace Collectibles on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. And sign up for the Substack newsletter, another way to support the channel if you wish to do so. But I appreciate you all nonetheless for stopping by and spending your time with me. And we will see you right back here very likely tomorrow for another edition back in the hot seat at the desk down in the dungeon for the Mace MMA Show. Until then, folks, take care. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll see you next time.